Oh, hello. So I was always interested in the universe as a kid, and to be honest, not much has changed as an adult. Recently, I picked up this book by Stephen Hawking called A Brief History of Time, and all I have to say is the man is so brilliant that even though he dumbs down his theories, they're still really hard to understand. Why don't you understand the theories in my book? Are you some kind of stupid idiot or something? But as I was googling some of the concepts in this book to, you know, at least try to understand them, I came across some really cool facts about the universe, so I decided to gather up the most interesting ones to share with you guys, so here they are. There's a planet the scientists discovered in 2004 called Gliese 436b that's covered entirely in burning ice. The planet has incredibly strong gravity which super compresses the ice, allowing it to withstand the 800 degree temperature on its surface. Atoms are the building blocks of all matter in the universe, but what's interesting is they're comprised of a tiny nucleus surrounded by about 99.9% .9 empty space. Theoretically, if you were able to remove all of that empty space, you could fit the entire human race in about the size of a sugar cube. About 1% of the static that you see on your TV is made up of cosmic microwave radiation, which is left over from the Big Bang that happened 13.7 billion years ago. In 2011, there was a magnitude 9.0 earthquake that happened in Japan that was so strong that it actually shifted the Earth's axis and shortened days on Earth by 1.8 microseconds. Every century, the Earth's rotation naturally slows by about 17 milliseconds. That means if you went back to when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, days would only be about 22 hours long. There's a mountain on Mars called Olympus Mons that's 22 kilometers tall. That's three times the size of Mount Everest on Earth. It's the tallest mountain on any planet in our solar system, and it's so big that it actually sticks out of Mars's atmosphere. If you've ever wondered just how big the universe really is, here Here's a picture taken in 1990 by Voyager 1 called the Pale Blue Dot. See that tiny pale blue speck? Well that's Earth from 6 billion kilometers away. If you didn't feel insignificant before, now's a good time. Aerogel, also known as frozen smoke, is the lowest density solid that we know of. It's made up of about 96% air, it can support 8,000 times its own weight, and can withstand a blast from 2 pounds of dynamite. It's also the best insulator in existence, which is why NASA uses it to insulate spacesuits. Our solar system takes 225 million years to rotate around the Milky Way. That means that the last time that Earth was in its current position, dinosaurs were just beginning to roam the Earth. Stars are created when cosmic gases collect billions of tons of mass, and gravity gets so strong that fusion occurs, and the release of energy creates a star. And according to our best estimates, 275 million stars are created every single day. Planets are created from the aftermath of starbursts. All the remnants of material that's left over will either create an asteroid, a comet, a moon, and if there's enough, a planet. Sagittarius B is a massive space cloud that's 26,000 light years away from Earth that's made entirely of alcohol. It contains over a billion, billion, billion liters of alcohol, which is enough for about 400 trillion pints of beer. I don't know about you, but I'm getting thirsty. Astrologists theorize that the center of our universe smells like rum and tastes like raspberries. This is due to the discovery of ethyl formate in the Milky Way, which is the chemical responsible for giving raspberries its flavor and rum its smell. Everything on Earth, including Earth itself, itself is made of stardust. Every single natural occurring element with the exception of hydrogen and helium is created within stars. This means as an example that the iron in your blood is actually billions of years old from a star trillions of miles away. Look at you, you're a star child. 55 Cancri E is known as the diamond planet. Discovered 40 light years away from Earth, it's so rich in carbon that it's believed to hold three times our planet's mass in diamonds. It's also believed to have a solid diamond core with the size of, wait for it, 10 billion trillion trillion carats. Bowling! Black holes are one of the most fascinating things in our universe, mostly because of our inability to accurately study them. Although we don't know too much about them, what we do know is that they form when a star dies and collapses on itself. The gravitational pull that's created by this is so strong that nothing can escape from it, not even light. Think of it as an intergalactic vacuum cleaner. It's hypothesized that 85% of the universe is made up of dark matter. Dark matter is matter that cannot be directly seen with telescopes and the only reason that we know it exists is because of its gravitational pull on visible matter. The planet Venus's day is longer than its year is. This is because it completes an entire orbit around the sun before it manages to turn once on its axis. The light hitting Earth right now is over 30,000 years old. 
That's because it takes that long for the energy in the sunlight to leave the sun's core and reach its surface. And when it does finally reach the sun's surface, it only takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. And finally, in space, there's something really cool called cold welding. If two pieces of metal touch in space, they instantly bond and become one. This is due to the vacuum that occurs in space and doesn't happen on Earth because our atmosphere puts a layer of oxidized material between the two surfaces. And that's it. Those are the most interesting facts about the universe that I found. If you guys want to know more, just Google interesting universe facts. There's lots of them out there. And uh, other than that, I will see you guys next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I release a new video every single Saturday. And while you're at it, click the like button and share this on Facebook. And if you've already done those things, then go out and get some literature by Stephen Hawking because I got nothing but the highest of respect for that guy. He's incredibly brilliant and he makes you think about the universe. So, yeah. <laughs>